Hey guys. <clears throat> Wait, let me turn the light on. Okay, is that better? Yep. Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> It's Wednesday, back at it again. Oh my goodness. Hey! <laughs> What's up, girl? <clears throat> Hello! What's up, guys? Hey, from Houston. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, girl. I think I found a really good spot right here, y'all. Like, the connection is pretty good. To date. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to film my favorites today. Hey, Erica. Um, but I will say, oh God, it's so hard. Uh, just one. Mm. Oh gosh. Camille Rose. Camille Rose. Because I'm usually at work. I'm glad. Oh, good. I'm glad you got a chance to catch us today. Yeah, um, Friday, as you guys know, or may not know, swim week was this past weekend. Um, so, I was going to try to film my favorites, but it was just a lot going on. So, I'm actually going to film it today. Um, I'm going to the pool after this, so that's why, you know, my hair ain't done or nothing like that. But, um, so, um... I'm probably just going to put like three little braids in or something, something cute, and then film my favorites today. So I'm going to do like favorite products from the Will My Curls Pop line, um, I mean series. That's what I'm going to do. So anything from gels to the shampoos to whatever I've used, I'm going to look back and just double check on all the products and um, tell you which ones are my favorite. So <clears throat> that should be fun. Um... I was going to ask you guys, too, should I go to Sally's uh, tomorrow to see if they have the, um, what was that? The main choice Egyptian carrot, I mean Egyptian 24 carat. Should I go to Sally's to find that? I know you buy the brown bone food you can try the, hold up. Okay, yeah. Um, send me the link to, and then um, like since we do it so, since we pick for the following week, I might be able to get something online um, if I buy it like early. So, or I could just buy it like ahead of time, you know, and just hold on to it. Yay! Um, yeah, they have a sale. Oh, great! Oh, no, I'm not, uh, off $40, that's what, that's what you mean? Coupon code. Can you write the, um, code in a real comment? Because after this video goes live, I won't be able to see the code anymore. Or send it to me, like, on Instagram or something. Um, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I had such a great time. Like, oh my gosh. It's so different from New York Fashion Week. Like, um, New York Fashion Week is a lot more, like, fast-paced, hustle and bustle, this, 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 that. And um, Swim Week was just very chill. It was like a party, really. Like, mostly all the fashion shows started at night. Uh, there was only like a few during the day or if it was something during the day it was just a presentation So something where it's not a runway show It's just people standing and you see the collection or you can see the clothes like on a rack. So it was really really cool um, Did you find those dollar store products? No, I haven't even had a chance to like go to the dollar store or anything like this is really 
one of my first days just kind of relaxing because even yesterday I put up the vlog the day before that I was doing stuff on my blog so um, tomorrow I'm gonna be out and about going to the stores and stuff They said, she said Sally's has a sale going on right now. Yep. So I'm going to go to Sally's tomorrow and hopefully they have the main choice. But if they don't, we're going to try the TW brand. Um, and yeah, my best friend is coming into town tomorrow. I mean, Friday. So I'm super happy I haven't seen him in like two years because the year before that, we just didn't link up. And then this past year, he's in the army. So he was um, in Kuwait for a year. So he just actually got back home like a couple days ago. And then he's coming here this weekend to hang out with me. So what's going on guys? How was your weekend? I don't know. I think I spoke too soon. It's starting to say bad connection right here. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm driving down Florida on Friday night. Oh, you are? What part? How often do I trim my hair? Um, Twice a year. That's it to be honest, um, and I normally do it when I flat iron my hair twice a year, but um, if I don't flat iron it, I still try to make sure I, you know, trim it while it's curly, but I really don't trim too often. Coco wants to play. She brought her toy over here. I'll be in Orlando. I promise not to take YouTube live with me this time. <laughs> yeah, enjoy your trip, girl. Um, what products besides as I am, etc., do you use when transitioning? Um, oh, besides Cantu. Hmm, let's see. Because I transitioned like so long ago. Um, and that was really back before I was actually watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I didn't really have YouTube to go to, but I can try to remember what I did because I actually went natural by accident. I didn't know that I was going natural per se. I just um, told my mom I didn't want perms anymore back when I was like 13 or something like that. And honestly, I didn't even really get perms that much. I got perms maybe like three years out of my life. And it only made my curls really loose. It gave me waves, but it didn't do anything else for my hair. So we just decided that I didn't need it. So, hey girl. So I started doing my own hair. Um, and I did a lot of perm rod sets, a lot of flexi rod sets, and um, stuff like that. Because my curls weren't, you know, it, it wasn't a good mix just to wear it curly. So to achieve that all over curly look, I did a lot of perm rods and flexi rods um, for a long time. And then I started watching YouTube probably after I graduated high school, which was 2008. And um, then that's when I found out about the braid outs and the twist outs and all of that stuff. But honestly, I, did, I used very minimal products on my hair. I can't remember that. like. It wasn't really about the products, it's just all really about the maintenance and how much moisture you add to your hair. Um, it's because any product, if you know how to apply it well, you know, it'll work. So I don't want you to got, like you guys to focus on products specifically, like this is what's going to work. It's really all about the application, honestly, um, because if you don't apply it right, then your hair is not going to come out right, and especially like with twist outs and braid outs and all that stuff, the key to that is moisture and letting your hair dry fully. If it does not dry fully and you take it out, it's not gonna look good. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't do a big chop. I just like kept cutting off the um, the end slowly. And I did flat iron my hair a lot back then. That's probably why it took so long for me to 
do a wash and go because my curls was heat damaged also. So it, it didn't have any more perm, but it was very heat damaged. And once I cut down the heat, that's when I really started to see my hair like flourish and stuff. Um, the workout and change is paying off. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, like I noticed uh, what is good, what is a good foam to use? Hmm. I've always seen the results of letting it dry all the way. Yeah, if you don't let your hair dry all the way, it's like a disaster, honestly. Um, I finally noticed that my body is changing a little bit this past week um, in my outfits. Like the one... Sorry guys, I got a phone call. Ugh, it's so annoying. But anyway, I finally noticed like a change in my body. The, um, the white bustier and the orange pants. I was just like, wow, my like midsection looks really slim. I was like, okay, girl. And uh, the white shirt that I wore the last day, like off the shoulder, the sleeves part um, used to not fit. So I would like, I, I would be able to put it on, but then I couldn't pull the sleeves up, you know, really high because this part of my arm was so big. But um, I, I kept the shirt because I'm like, you know what, I'm going to work out and I'm going to try to see if I can, you know, lose the weight or just lose some of the inches. And now it fits. So um, I'm really basing my results off of how I feel in my clothes. And that's how I notice a change. Because when you look at yourself every day, you really don't see, see the change. But when clothes start fitting differently, then you know there's a change. Thank you. Okay. Foam for perm rod sets. Um, this isn't hair related, but what's your advice for small beginners on YouTube to get their content up? Okay, um, all right, so this is for just cast. I would say, honestly, you have to promote, promote, promote. Like, promotion is the biggest thing, and don't be afraid to keep saying, hey, hey, have you seen this, have you seen that? You know, make sure you're utilizing all platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Instagram story is really, really big. I, I'm just trying to get on that too. Um, and, you know, try to use your hashtags, hashtag, uh, the like big pages on Instagram and stuff so you can try to get reposted. Um, it's just all about networking because it's so saturated now. And, um, if you don't already have that audience, it's kind of hard for people to, to find you. So, um, I would say definitely do something you know original that's gonna get you kind of noticed in that way like i feel like for me before i started the will my curls pop series i was just kind of blending in like um my videos are good and you know the quality of them is really good as well but it's not something that's extremely different you know what i'm saying so even though the will my curls pop series is pretty much in a sense just a product review the way I did my spin on it, it was kind of different. And it's like, oh, what's this? So that's something new to come up with something innovative that's true to you, something you will enjoy doing. And, you know, the people will find you. And whoever, you know, everybody has their own audience. Every Whoever wants to watch you is going to watch you. And that's just the end of the story. So um, it takes time, but just don't give up and do what you love. That's what I, that's my best advice. Um, couldn't wait until lunch break. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Not saying it all about money, but my revisions of ads stuff. Um, yeah, with that, um, did your move to Florida affect your relationship with your boyfriend? Um, hey, Nikki, no, um, the, the move to Florida was... Uh, a part of that whole situation so definitely no it didn't affect 
um, anything because it doesn't exist anymore. So that's to answer your question. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, the money with YouTube too. Yes, um, the views, the more views you have, the more money you're going to make. But there are other ways to bring the dollars in from besides just the ads. See, a lot of people only know about the ads being on your videos. But honestly, guys, those ads pay like this much. So you have to be making, I would say, to see something that you could live off of without having another job, you would have to at least get like 30,000 views on every video. Like I would say maybe 15, 15 to 30 on every video, you wouldn't need another job just on ads alone. But there are a lot of other ways. There are brands that work with you that, you know, is off of either commission or flat rate paying you something. There's also links. You get paid from your links um, and you can have those on it into your videos or you can if you have a blog website you can put it on your blog also Instagram is paying now so you can do a lot of things with Instagram there are a lot of other avenues um, that you can get paid from because just the ads alone you're gonna really need more than just 2,000 views I mean honestly unless you pulling in 2,000 every video then maybe you can see a little something but I think once you hit like 10, 15,000 on each video, that's when the check will kind of be, you know, okay. But if you're doing it for the money, then I say don't even do it because that shouldn't be your motivation. And doing YouTube is because you, you want to do it. Yes, you do get paid for it now, but I feel like when people jump into it because it's like, oh, I can get paid, and then they're like, oh, well, I'm not getting views that's gonna make you discouraged. So if you're just doing it for the money, you're not gonna see the money right away. I mean, unless something happens overnight and you blow up, hey, but realistically, you have to work for it. And it is a lot of work, it's very tiring. You know, working for yourself, you have to have discipline and you have to be creative, you have to come up with ideas. If you don't know how to edit and do stuff like that, you have to teach yourself. So it's a lot that goes into it. Um, got any good product suggestions? Um, where in Florida did you move to? I moved to uh, Miami. Um, anything else? Um, good product suggestions um, for what? A wash and go or like another style? Um, I'm doing it for fun. My boyfriend has a channel. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, my my uh, ex never wanted to get on camera. I wanted to do like you know fun videos and challenges and stuff like that. But I mean, you know, you gotta respect people's um, opinions because this isn't for everybody to be on camera and stuff like that. Um, good product suggestions. I would say for wash and go, and I'm just speaking from now. Um, I love the Eco Styler gels, like all of them in the collection. I feel like each gel kind of works differently. Um, and honestly, the olive oil one and the black Jamaican castor, they've switched for me. Like I really love the feel of the flaxseed and castor oil gel over the olive oil one now. I feel like the olive oil one kind of leaves my hair really crunchy. And even though the flaxseed one is a lot thicker, it's it's more conditioning, it's more moisturizing than the olive oil one. So um, it doesn't leave my hair crunchy, but it holds my curls. So I really love that gel. Um, definitely the Jane Carter Curls to Go line. Um, the Blueberry Bliss line is really good. I love the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In. Um, what else? Camille Rose, amazing. Give you amazing results every single time. Um, the Twisting Jai and the, the Curl Maker. Um, Kami, you should 
try the Afro G. Yeah, I've seen that line a lot. Because me and my sister have the same 3C hair. Amy, have you ever used Mixed Chicks products? Um, yes, I have used Mixed mix Chicks a while ago. Um, and the leave-in is my absolute favorite, y'all. Like, I love that leave-in. Now, when I used it, I used it with other products. I didn't just solely use just Mixed Chicks by itself. Um, I was using, I believe, Mixed with Cantu or Mixed with Eden Body Works. One of the two. But I absolutely love the leave-in. So I would love to use Mixed Chicks just all like in one by itself. So if you guys would like to see that on the Will My Curls Pop, let me know. Um, I know how it works with other stuff, but I don't know how it works with just using that by itself. So um, let's see. Are you still on any type of birth control? Um, have you considered going... No, uh, no, I'm not on any birth control right now. I do want to have children, so I'm just giving my body a break. I was on birth control for six, seven years, something like that. And, um, well, I was on the depot shot for six, seven years. Before that, I was just taking the pill. So, no, nope, I'm not on any birth control right now. My cycle did come back. But I'm not sure if I'm ovulating or anything yet. But I do have a cycle now. It didn't take long to come back. So um, I think things are getting back to normal, I guess. Okay. Do you have a Miss Jessie's? Uh, no, I don't have a Miss Jessie. So um, I remember last week somebody was talking about something from Miss Jessie's in the yellow packaging that they said they really liked. And um, I've never tried Miss Jessie, so we can actually take, you know, votes for what you guys want to see um, next week because this Friday's Will My Curls Pop, I'm going to get the products tomorrow and I'm going to do my hair, so we need something for next Friday. So, yeah, just type what you want to see. Let me know. We'll get the votes going. thinking about using the mixed chicks leave-in because they say it can be used alone. Um, I'm not sure. I've never used it by itself. I always layered it with something, but um, it's really good. I think it's worth a try. You should definitely try it out. I always got great results when I did a wash and go with it. So, And I would use it a lot in the winter time because I felt like it really held that moisture in my hair and it gets, you know, really, really cold in Baltimore. So um, I love using it in the winter time to lock in that moisture and my hair just always looked bomb whenever I used it. Hey, Kami, I always watch your videos. I subscribed about two months ago. I was wondering what twist out in the future. Um, uh, what do you do to refresh your curls each morning? Um, I, what do I do? So, sometimes I just shake, it depends, like the first, the very first day, I don't do anything because it's pretty much fine. But then when I, um, put it in a pineapple at night, I put oil and, you know, all over it. And then in the morning, I just shake it out, maybe spritz it with, um, the midnight train, leave-in, um, or the thirsty curls from, uh, Uncle Funky's daughter, and that's about it. I don't really do too too much I just make sure I put oil on it um, when I go to sleep and as far as the twist outs um yeah I can definitely bring back some bring uh, bring back some twist outs and braid outs and stuff I haven't done those in a minute let me see when is the last time I've done a uh, twist out let me see probably a few months ago because I've been doing a lot of uh you know, wash and go, so. And my parents come back today, y'all. I'm so happy, I miss them. So, like after swim week, I'm like, okay, now I'm bored again. <laughs> it's just been me and Coco. All right, let's see. Wow, it's 
been a little while. I'm looking through my videos right now. Come on, this thing is so slow. I'm the invest your time and money and other things besides YouTube. Um, honestly, no. Like, you know, YouTube is my job, so I invest a lot of money in that within myself. But, you know, as far as like my websites and things like that and um, getting my name, um, what's the word for it? Like legalized, like, uh, I can't think of the, the name for it right now, but, um, getting all of that stuff done so that no one can like take my name and stuff like that that's what I invest money into as well but no um when I was with someone you know we were thinking about the future as far as getting married and, and buying a house and things like that but now that um that's not my path anymore um you know that's not something that I'm interested in doing right now at this time so just I want to travel that's like the biggest thing that I want to do I want to um, travel around now and just see what else you know is out there and learn more about the world and culture and all of that stuff uh, the dang the last twist out and braid out was back in October y'all and I did a flexi rod set too <laughs> Um, mixed checks. I would love to see how that works. Um, do you ever ban your hair? Um, no, I don't ban it. Do you? Let me see. Mixed checks. Uh, what oil do I use at night? Um, I use my either my DIY oil that I made, which has a mixture of everything, like um. Coconut oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, um, a little bit of tea tree. There's this other oil. Um, I think it's from. Hey, Gia. Um, I can't think of the name, but it smells so good. It's, it's like a hair growth oil. I think it's from ORS brand or olive something. I'm going to have to find it and show y'all. But I put, I use that as well. Um and a little bit of castor oil in it so i have a video up if y'all want to see like the oil mixture that i made it's good for hair growth it's good for moisture and um, i definitely just put that all over and then i use this to tie it up and then it's like my hair is hanging out the front um i don't use a scrunchy head for the time because i it leaves a dent so what i just do i pull the scarf like that and have my hair hanging out then i put the bonnet over top um like that yeah, trademark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think about having frizz? Do you like it? Um, I do. I don't really like like the really flat look. I want it to be big, but I don't want it to be undefined. Like too much frizz to the point where it's undefined. I don't like that. But I do like volume, um, and my hair gets volume on its own. I know some girls use picks and things. I don't have to do that. My hair, just as the days go on, it gets bigger and bigger. So, um, But I do like to keep uh, the frizz to a minimum to where you can still see my curls. and my It's big, but it's just not like blown out like an afro kind of thing. Um, some girls, it looks cute on, but I feel like my curl pattern, it doesn't look that nice on me because my hair is not certain parts is not that kinky so it's already loose so then once it gets frizzy it kind of flops and lays flat it doesn't like stay um in that kind of like afro kind of shape so um it's a half and half for me with the frizz as long as i have volume i love it i don't want like just that flat curly look i like my hair to be out and big um i love it the bigger the better 
Um, you look great, great. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I actually, um, to talk about too, as far as like investing my money, I did buy a domain for my website um, because before I was on, I'm still on Blogger, but my website used to be called stylebykami.blogspot.com, but now I bought the domain, so now it's just Style by Kami. Um, I'm also working on some other things as far as like merchandise and things like that. I'm working with a graphic designer um, because I want to expand my brand a little bit more. Um, and I want to bring back my events. I talked about it a little bit a couple weeks ago. I want to bring back my events that I was trying to start doing. So as far as just YouTube, YouTube is not like my only thing. And I've talked about it before. My biggest goal, I want to be a wardrobe stylist. That is my goal. Um, and a uh, motivational speaker as far as learning your personal style, loving yourself, and, and things like that. So I have other things that are going on outside of YouTube. It's just not make videos for me. It's, it's bigger than that. So, um, but hopefully y'all stick around. Y'all can see what else I got up my sleeve. And I got something really, really big up my sleeve that has nothing to do with beauty at all. Um, no hair, no makeup, no clothes, like doesn't have anything to do with that. So, um, I'm working on it. It's, it's really all up to me and for me to stop being shy and just do it. But, um, just stay looking out cause I'm going to have a whole nother channel and everything. So, um, you'll see, you'll see pretty soon, but I got a lot of talent y'all. I got a lot of things hidden up under these, uh, these sleeves but you know it takes time and I'm a really shy person even if it doesn't seem like it um, and YouTube has helped me kind of you know just let let myself be me and just not be ashamed so doing this first has kind of really helped me to the other channel that I was talking about that I really want to make um, because I'm a really shy person and I'm really critical of myself like I'm probably someone that'll say oh that didn't look good when everybody else is like oh no it looked amazing I don't know why I'm like that I'm just really really critical and really um, like a precise kind of person and I feel like when I first started YouTube on my channel I was very like hello welcome to my channel like you know like that but then it's like girl like shake it off loosen up like show them like how cool you are you don't have to be so perfect um, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. That's like a really big part of me. Um, and yeah, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so, do, I mean, a lot of you guys was asking about mixed chicks. Is that something y'all would want to see um, in the series next Friday? Would y'all want to see that? Coco? Koki? Yes to mixed chicks? Koki? Oh, she need a haircut, y'all, and a bath. <laughs> Say hi to the people, Cole. What happened to Main Choice? That's going up this Friday, Gia. I'm um I'm gonna film that tomorrow. Hey guys. Oh, stop. I left my earphones, but oh okay. <laughs> That's okay. Did you leave your earphones last week? Somebody left their earphones last week. Yeah, to the mixed chicks. Okay. You're supposed to be facing this way. The people is this way. Say hi. No. Look. Look. Alright. Bye, girl. Bye, girl. Yes, to the mixed chicks. Okay. 
No, you said no, not me. Somebody left their earphones last week, they were saying. They uh, was watching, but they couldn't hear. Because <laughs> they was at work. What's this in your hair? Oh, okay. I still have not eaten anything today. Terrible, I know. And I need to go back to the gym because with all of the fashion so show stuff going on, like, I didn't even go to the gym, y'all. Like, the last time I've been to the gym was probably last Tuesday. So, Mayo has a new line coming out. I would be, I would try it. Even though the Mayo, the other line didn't work for me, I would try it. Is it pleasant smell too? Yeah, it does. It's not overwhelming. Um... It's not something that's just kind of like in your face. I really do enjoy mixed chicks, actually. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'll, um, I'll definitely get that. I think I still have some of the shampoo, maybe. I'm going to have to look in my little basket and see what I have from mixed chicks. Uh, I might have some of the leave-in still. I don't know. When y'all use the mixed chicks, what do you? What are the two products, or what is the combination that you use from their line? Can y'all hear me clearly? Can y'all see me clearly? I don't see no comments. Hold on. Shit. Shea moisture curl and to smoothie with mixed chicks works well. There we go. Is that better? <sighs> there we go. Sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on. This damn Sprint. I, who, what, serve, what phone service y'all with? Because that's I need to switch. I can't stand Sprint. Oh, my gosh. Like, the service is terrible. Only, like, at the max, I probably have, like, three bars a day. I don't get past three bars. And my calls drop, my internet is slow, like, it's so annoying. And then my bill is never the same every month. Like, I have um, unlimited everything, and I'm supposed to have a set bill. My bill is every, every single month. AT&T expensive, though. <laughs> I heard T-Mobile pretty good. Anybody got T-Mobile? Get down, Coco. I have Sprint and it does suck. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely does suck. It is crazy that it, I'm saying it sucks because I've been with Sprint for so long. Like, even though it sucked, I'm loyal to the ass. I actually was with T-Mobile when like the sidekicks was out. Um, I had all the sidekicks. And, um, I was with T-Mobile, but then I got with Sprint, and I had that for two years, never had any issues. Is your bill high, though? Like, because I need unlimited everything, and I need, like, no, like, not a specific amount of data because, you know, I use my phone for emails and Instagram and all of that stuff, so I don't want to run out of data, you know? Yes, didn't you just love the sidekick? Like, just to go, like, that was so, like, everybody thought they were so on, like, so cool with a sidekick. Like, 
I had all of them. I had the the silver one. I think it was a sidekick too. Then I had the the black. Like no, it was like purple or something. It was like the new one. That, it was like small. And then you had all the ringtones. You could buy all the ringtones. I remember when Tiger first came out and he had that song, Put the Lime in the Coconut. That used to be one of my uh, ringtones. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a corporate discount. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm tuning in from Austria. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> that is crazy. Thanks for joining us. I just used to flip it too. Just the, just flipping it back and forth for no reason. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was so cool back then. I just saw something on um, Facebook too. Yesterday was the 20th anniversary of the movie Good Burger. Can y'all believe that that movie is 20 years old? Like blew my damn mind i was like okay i'm old as shit like this damn video this movie came out 20 years ago oh my gosh that's crazy i love good burger i can still watch it every day but uh yeah so we're gonna do mixed chicks next friday this friday is hopefully main choice um yeah, super super beautiful oh thank you uh yes it hurt like a bitch for me um i've seen i've watched a lot of videos of this piercing and it's a half and half debate some people said it did not hurt at all and some people said it really hurt for me i was not lucky and it hurt so i told my mom like if i ever like let it close up or whatever i'm just gonna let it go because i'm not getting it repaired ever again i don't ever want to feel that again i definitely would like to see the mix chicks line okay perfect yeah and i definitely want to try mix chicks again too because like i said i've never used the line all by itself i've always mixed it with something else and i feel like that can be a deal breaker that's a make or break with a product because in a sense it could have been because i mixed it with that other product that that's why it worked you see what i'm saying so when you use just the line by itself and you don't add something else in that you know kind of works for your hair, um, that's a true test of the brand. So I definitely do want to try it again and um, see if I get those same results that I used to be able to get with other products. Because for a while, I really loved the Eden Body Works um, uh, something smoothie or something from Eden Body Works. It's the Coconut Shea one and i also used to love the curling and ha curly hansen smoothie and the cantu shea butter all three of those i have mixed with the mixed chicks leave-in and it worked really well um would you try now? yeah i would definitely try it can you leave a real comment on this video so that i won't forget it or send it to me on instagram i will i'm really open to trying anything so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and that's true too because I don't think I've ever used it in the summer. Like I said, I always used it in the winter time. Um, and yeah, that's why like uh, some of you guys always ask me like how come I don't like add oil or add something else when I'm doing the Will My Curls Pop because I really just want you guys to see how those products work with no manipulation uh, no manipulation like not using an oil or not using another leave-in or something that you know will kind of save the day I really just want to see how those products work and judge it from there and if I see something has potential on its own then I know when I mix it with something else that I know works it will be even more bomb if you get what I'm saying so um, it's just a true test of the products from the brand because they have a styler, a gel, or something like that. You shouldn't have to and mix it with something else. You should be able to use the products that brand is, is offering you. It's okay to mix too. I'm not saying that it's not because I always mix too. Like uh, for the swim week, I used, so I did my hair two times. 
the first time when we were live last week, I believe I used, what was that? Uh, what did I freaking use? Camille Rose? I think. No, no, no. Okay, I know what I used. I used the Mixed Chicks. No, no, no. Mm, I'm retarded. <laughs> I used the Kinky Curly Not Today, and I used the True by Made Beautiful Hair Butter. That's what I used first. Then on Sunday, I used the Jane Carter Leave-In and the Black Caster and Flaxseed Eco Styler Gel. So I mix too. Like when I know certain products work good, I definitely do mix when I'm not filming a video. Um, yeah, it is. Is your live stream going out or is it just mine? Yeah, um, it, it's saying bad connection sometimes. So, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to, like, when I move the phone and it, it'll sit there. The wheel of death. <laughs> yeah, I know that, like, you know, it's dialing up. But... Like, I'll move it, and then it'll say it's good, and then out of nowhere, it just comes back bad connection. Like, see, now it's saying it's good, and I have it in this spot, and I'm not touching it. And then a couple minutes later, it'll just say bad connection. Like, I moved it, and I didn't I didn't touch it. So, I'm sorry if it's going out. Um, if you didn't hear me, just ask me again. I'll, I'll repeat myself. I don't care. Um, but I know it's probably annoying on your head on your side it's annoying for me too um but yeah so um well anything else y'all want to know before i go it's been like 40 minutes i think yeah i think we started at one so it's almost two o'clock but anything else y'all want to know before we wrap it up this week and I need to eat something too because I'm about to go to the pool. I'm going to eat, go to the pool, come back, film my favorites. So that will be up tomorrow. Favorites will be up tomorrow. Will my curls pop this Fridays. So just to let y'all know too, like my schedule kind of. Um, Sunday is the vlogs. See, now it's saying bad connection and I didn't even touch the phone. This is so irritating. It's this damn sprint, I'm telling y'all. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you said the live stream going by too fast. Well, we, we, we talked for an hour. <laughs> I know, it does go fast though. Hey, time flies when you're having fun, right? y'all can still hear me but Sundays is um, the vlogs then Tuesday I try to do a video Wednesday of course is the live stream then Thursdays will be like hair fashion whatever and then Fridays will always be the will my curls pop so um, that's my little schedule try to do four to five videos a week um, and yeah, I think that's um, been really working for me. Four to five videos a week. Um, we'll see how it goes with that. See how much I keep it up. But um, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming in again on this Wednesday. I really look forward to every Wednesday, honestly. I think that's like my favorite day. Besides uploading the Will My Curls Pop, like Wednesday is definitely my favorite day here on the channel. Um, Oh, yeah, Paul Mitchell. Okay. No, I've never tried Paul Mitchell, but um, that can be on the list. Do they, they have other products besides, like, shampoo and conditioner? I didn't know that. Um, 
But what I want you guys to do to leave a real comment on any products that you guys will see in the future with my curls pop videos or like other videos like twist outs and braid outs if you guys want me to use a specific product doing that on my hair as well. Um, let me know and I will see you guys tomorrow in my favorites. And I'll see you again on Friday for the Will My Curls Pop. So I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. And until next time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>